Republican Senator Ted Cruz is very unhappy with a piece of legislation that Senate Democrats are attempting to move forward. It's advanced through the Senate Judiciary Committee. And the idea behind this legislation is aimed at mandating upon the Supreme Court a code of ethics. Very reasonable. We've seen some what should be violations of a code of ethics recently from Supreme Court justices such as Clarence Thomas and others. And Senate Democrats are responding to that and trying to change the reality that the Supreme Court is subjected to a far lower standard than people within Congress and other federal judges when it comes to the rules that uh, rules they must abide by in their position of power. And so Democrats are trying to make a change on this front and Ted Cruz doesn't want it. And in articulating his opposition to this legislation, he made a really funny statement for how much it is projecting. Before I show you that clip though, Here's a little bit on this legislation from CBS. The Senate Judiciary Committee on Thursday advanced legislation that would require the Supreme Court to adopt an ethics code with Democrats following through on their pledge for legislative action after a series of reports about Justice Clarence Thomas's relationship with a Republican real estate magnate. And let me remind you, the Supreme Court is in a very unique way, a self-governing body in so many ways that are unnecessary, and it doesn't even have to follow the same rules members don't have to do these supreme court justices don't have to follow the same rules that other federal judges have to follow so why not at least make their standard that high if not higher the legislation which has backing from more than two uh, dozen senate democrats would require the supreme court to adopt a code of conduct for the justices and implement procedures to handle complaints of judicial misconduct it would also require the high court to impose more rigorous rules for the disclosure of gifts travel and income received by the justices and their law clerks completely reasonable so what possibly could be ted cruz's issue with this well he tries to explain it here what we are witnessing right now from senate democrats is an organized concerted deliberate effort to smear to try to delegitimize and to try to destroy the supreme court I think there's a very good argument it's the exact opposite by forcing them to be held to a higher standard we can increase the perception of legitimacy of the supreme court we're witnessing it because they're angry senate democrats are angry that we have a majority on the court that are willing to follow the constitution and follow the law and it's important to note that democrats don't like democracy really ted if they did, they wouldn't go to the courts and try to force through wildly unpopular left-wing policies that the voters don't want. Do you know what he's talking about? But today's congressional Democrats are more than willing to trample over the will of the voters, and they want judges to rubber stamp their left-wing views. As a result, the Democrats look at the Supreme Court as the one institution of government that they cannot force a left-wing agenda down. Wow. Okay, so, quote, Democrats, uh, Ted Cruz says, don't like democracy. If they did, they wouldn't go to the courts and try to force through widely unpopular left-wing policies that the voters don't want. So just let's just not even have the conversation about the wildly unpopular rulings we've gotten out of the Supreme Court because of right-wing activism. We're not even going to go there on that. But it also is very hilarious that he's saying Democrats don't like democracy when he was one of the leaders in attempting to block the certification of Biden's win and stoking people into a frenzy over a false belief that Joe Biden um, stole the election. And he was right along with that anti-democratic effort, again, based on lies. So to have the gall to turn around and call Democrats, the anti-democratic ones, is pretty stunning uh, for sure. But then also to say that in response to, I guess, them trying to just hold the Supreme Court to, at a bare minimum, the same standard that other federal judges are held to. Before they came up to the Supreme Court, many of them had to abide by these very same rules. So just apply those to the Supreme Court justices. It really is not that hard but ted cruz thinks this is actually a dishonest attack i guess on uh 
the Supreme Court. And as I said, w calling this out as an attempt to delegitimize the Supreme Court makes no sense when the rules are supposed to serve to give the public more hope and more trust in the Supreme Court. And if we can have more transparency and then know they are abiding by certain rules, more people will feel comfortable uh, accepting the legitimacy of the institution of the Supreme Court. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.